In this video, I'm going to be introducing the process of diagonalization. The best way to do this is really via an example. So uh, we're going to let M be the 2 by 2 matrix, 13, 30, minus 6, minus 14. The first job is to find the eigenvalues and associated eigenvectors of M. OK, so that's the first thing that we're going to do. So for part A, then, uh, we want the uh, determinant of M take away lambda I to be equal to 0. OK, so we're going to have 13 take away lambda, 30 minus 6 and minus 14 take away lambda. And that's going to be equal to 0. OK, I've got a feeling I'm going to need my calculator here. Right, so we've got uh, 13 take away lambda times minus 14 take away lambda take away uh, 30 times minus 6. Uh, so we've got a plus 180. That's going to be equal to 0. Right, so... Uh, 13, 14, so 182, that's not one I keep in my head. So minus 182, take away 13 lambda, uh, plus 14 lambda, uh, plus lambda squared, plus 180 is equal to 0. So we've got lambda squared, uh, we've got minus 13 lambda plus 14 lambda, so plus lambda. And then minus 182 plus 180 gets us minus 2 is equal to 0. OK, so um, we're going to have lambda plus 2, lambda minus 1 equals 0. So lambda 1 will go with 1, and lambda 2 we will go with minus 2. OK, so we now need to find the corresponding eigenvectors that go with those. So if we look at lambda 1 equals 1 to start off with, then we're going to have uh, 13 take away lambda, so 12. Then 30 minus 6, minus 14, take away 1, so minus 15. And that's multiplying with our eigenvector to make the zero vector. So we've got 12x plus 30y equals 0. And minus 6x take away 15y equals 0. OK. So y is going to be... What's that? That's uh, minus 12 over 30, isn't it? So minus 2 fifths x. And we've got the same thing there, haven't we? Yeah. So in both cases, uh, y equals minus 2 fifths x. So um, if we put in uh, x is 5, y is minus 2. So v1 can be 5 minus 2. Okay, so that will be our first eigenvector to go with that eigenvalue. Right, so then lambda 2 uh, is equal to minus 2. So 13 take away minus 2, so we've got 15, then 30, uh, minus 6, minus 14 take away minus 2, uh, gets us to minus 12, xy equals 0. So 15x plus 30y equals 0 and minus 6x take away 12y is equal to 0. Okay, so that's going to be minus a half x. y equals minus a half x. So if we put in x is 2, so when, oh sorry, v2, um, so we've got, what are we doing? 2 uh, minus 1 as our eigenvector. OK. Right. So that's part A. So I'm just going to erase this bit so I've got a little bit more space. OK, so part B. Uh, let V be the matrix V1, V2. OK, so what that means is that um, the matrix V is made up of these two vectors side by side. So we've got 5 minus 2, 2 minus 1. OK, and D is the diagonal matrix made up of the two eigenvalues. So we've got 1, 0, 0, minus 2. OK, so we need to find V, D, V minus 1. 
So V D V minus 1 is equal to, so 5, 2, minus 2, minus 1. 1, 0, 0, minus 2. 5, 2, minus 2, minus 1 to the minus 1. Okay. Right, so we need to find that inverse matrix. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. So uh, menu number four, uh, let's define matrix A, two rows, two columns, to be 5, 2, minus 2, minus 1. Um, then press AC, then we're going to go to option, choose matrix A, and we want uh, the X to the minus 1 button. And we get uh, 1, 2, minus 2, minus 5. Okay, right, so let's make, multiply those two matrices together first. So we've got uh, 5, 2 times 1, 0, so that's just 5. 5, 2 times 0, minus 2, so minus 4. Minus 2 minus 1 times that is minus 2. Minus 2 minus 1 times that is 2. And we're now multiplying that 1, 2, minus 2, minus 5. So we're going to get 5 times 1 is 5, uh, plus 8, so 13. Then we're going to get 10 uh, plus 20, so 30. Uh, minus 2 times 1, and 2 times minus 2, so minus 4, minus 6. And then minus 2 times 2, so minus 4, uh, and we get minus 10, so minus 14. Okay, and so that is precisely M, our original matrix. So, what is this example showing? Well, it's showing that M is equal to V, D, V minus 1, right? Where V is the matrix made up of your eigenvectors. D is the diagonal matrix made up of your eigenvalues. Now, the order um, that the eigenvalues go into your diagonal matrix is the same order that the eigenvectors need to go into that matrix V. Okay, This process of writing M in this form is called diagonalization. Okay, So that, in a nutshell, is the process uh, of diagonalization. So this bit here shows, uh, by this within this example, that V, D, V minus 1 gets you back to the same matrix. Okay, This process that we went through for part A, where we find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, that's what we need to be able to do in order to write M in its diagonalized form.